What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Red Hood Toys of Gaming coming with you with another freaking Marvel Legend action figure review. And today's review is going to be on the Walmart exclusive Deadpool 2 cable movie figure in the Marvel Legends line. Now, I'm a massive, massive X Men fan, massive Marvel fan. And I gotta, I gotta say, I am so excited that Hasbro decided to do these figures. You guys don't even, you just don't realize how excited I am. So, when I heard that Cable was coming out, Deadpool, I just did a review on that one. I had, I just had to, had to, had to get this damn figure. So... I had to get it off of e, uh, Mercari because it's just, it's, you know how Walmart is, guys. It's ridiculous to find exclusives. In fact, somebody in one of the collector groups, I paid pretty, I paid 30 for it. So pretty much if I got it off a Walmart website or went to the store, I would end up paying 30 for it. So I pretty much got it for retail. Now I saw some people in my collecting groups get one for $7 clearance and I was, you can imagine how ticked off I was, but here he is. Now, I do have to say that Josh, Josh Brolin, I think that's how you pronounce it. His head sculpt is just on point. That looks amazing. Wow. They did a good job on that. All right, let's crack him open, guys. That. Get all his attachments for his gun out too. Oh, I see. Tape. There's a grenade launcher attachment. His actual grenade launcher. handgun and the rifle then of course he has a set of fisted hands all right let's go ahead and show you guys the figure we'll go ahead and look at the details now the head sculpt like i said look at that head sculpt for josh brolin get it to focus it really really looks like the josh brolin come on focus doesn't look it really looks like josh brolin from that movie like it's amazing even how they did the mechan the arm look at get the focus you can see the different wires are sculpted in there like i like this how they did the mechanical arm on this cable figure compared to some of the winter soldier ones like that's really 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 done well and then you have his you know, tactical vest with all the, you know, mag pouch, ah, mag pouches on them and stuff. And then, of course, he has the teddy bear, you know, Hope Summers teddy bear. It'd be pretty cool if it was dirty because, you know, at the end, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, at the end, you know, when the timeline is, you know, reversed, it gets clean again. You know, it's no longer, you know, stained by the blood of his daughter. So that's pretty cool. And he's got double jointed arms so you can go up and down. Just lots of articulation with the figure. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This, I'm already in love with this figure. I'm just picturing all the different pictures I can take with this figure. Now let's go ahead and put the attachments on his rifle. But here's what his rifle looks like. Now, if you know stuff about guns, you know it's a modified vector submachine gun. So that's pretty cool. At least this figure actually has a somewhat realistic gun. The other one does not. But the grenade launcher on it easily pegs in it, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have on here. I saw people actually had it pegged on the back of this, but I guess you really can't. 
Because I literally did. I saw people online or pictures of it. It could peg it in his back. But let's look at the back. It's a typical tactical vest. I believe that's the same vest that was on the um, crossbones figure from that two pack. So it's pretty, you know, Hasbro always reuses parts. But gun ease, rifle easily pegs in here. And let's get this here. Uh, typical assault rifle pose. There he is. Look at that. Easily pegs in. You could do so many different poses. And oh my god, that's just that looks amazing. But that's pretty cool. Easily goes in his arm. Let's see the look at him with the grenade launcher thing. I don't even know what the hell this was. know was he used it in the movie for a quick second but yep there he goes with that grenade launcher <laughs> which made no sense because he already has a grenade launcher on the rifle as you saw but yep that's pretty cool give him different accessories then he has the pistol that he had in the movie which it's kind of funny that they give him a glock like i said with the deadpool figure and they gave Deadpool guns that he never had. They just gave him futuristic guns. <laughs> Hasbro, you surprise me sometimes. <laughs> That's so tiny in his hand, though. It looks like he's got, like, a little squirt gun. Like, pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> That's funny. But, let me see... Are the mags on the pouch? No, the mags are not removable, sadly. But even has a holster for that. So there you go. Where is that the holster for it? No, that's not the holster for it. He's got a holster for it right here, guys. I didn't notice that. There's a holster for the pistol. Goes right here. This is a holster for the grenade launcher. Let's see how that pegs in here. Or is it going backwards? I think it goes in backwards. That's pretty cool. I think this is the not the vest on um what's it called? The crossbones. I think it's that Punisher, the tactical one. Because I know this belt was on that tactical one. But yep, as you can see, he's got the handgun right here, and then he's got the grenade launcher, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, they did a really, really good job with this figure. I really thoroughly enjoy this figure. And like I said, if you guys are interested, you're like, oh, I like this figure. I want to get it too, Brant. Where do you get it? Well, you get it at, oh shit, you get it at your local Walmart. Uh, so it's kind of a mixed bag. Good luck finding it, you know, if you guys find it, let me know, because I'm interested to see if people find it, because I have not been able to find it at any of my Walmarts, but I've seen tons of people in the, you know, the Marvel Legend community have found it like 30 times, or, you know, like their store has endless area, you know, rows of them. I've even seen people get them for $7. I saw somebody get him for $3, and he literally just came out, I think, this month or last month. So he hasn't been out for that long. And he's already on clearance at some Walmarts. It's insane. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the like button, and click the bell for the notifications for whenever I do a video. I'm Red Hood Toys and Gaming, and I'm signing off.